It's feeding time. I feel like I should have Michael Aranda's music for his cats here, but he did not make music for my kitties. Good kitten internet. Kitty hate time. It's feeding time, that's why. Well, well let's be honest, Boo Kitty's always hungry. Meow. Let me go feed the cats. I will be back. So today, uh, after coming back from work, had friends over and we made role-playing characters because we're starting a new campaign. Uh, my campaign will be going on hiatus for a bit. Seven Kitty is, well, making sure he's around me because, well, he can figure out that there's something wrong. So, <clears throat> I'm doing better than yesterday, by the way. <clears throat> Outside of the scratchy throat that I apparently have. Oh. Zone, please stop stepping on pressure points. Uh, cat. Silly kitty. So, everybody's left at this point. I'm basically, I'm lying in bed, just need to put away laundry and stop having a cat step right on bruised spots. Um... And it's a rainy night. Um, there's some isolated thunderstorms. It's kind of raining. And I had a thought to myself about loneliness and being alone. Ow. Can't just jump on crotch. Ow. <sighs> Definitely something on the glass. Cat. Please move. Oh. I have a great fear of being alone. And it's not... Like, for instance, right now, I'm the only human in the house. And I'm fine right now. I'm not having that big of an issue. But sorry about the movement. Zone is literally rubbing up against the camera. Um, I don't like being by myself for extended periods of time. And it's not... I shouldn't say I don't like it. I hate it. I am an extrovert. Uh, it's not by much. I definitely like having some alone time, but it's... <sighs> How to phrase? I get antsy when I'm by myself for a weekend. Um, 24 hours is about as most as I like being by myself. I'm perfectly fine with being by myself for 24 hours, and 48 hours is basically the point where I start having some issues and having kitties definitely helps but I've generally never been fully by myself until well college um, I had a solo dorm for two years the first year I had friends that lived on the same hallway so it wasn't really by myself the second year I didn't really have too much in the way of friends on the hallway. Um, there was the RA in the hallway. His girlfriend was a friend of mine, and that's about it. And that year bothered me a lot. It's some of the worst grades that I got outside of my freshman year. I needed to go out constantly because I couldn't stand being by myself in that room any longer. And the same thing happened after I finally moved into a place on my own while well, I've lived here in Madison. So after my first two years, I decided I wanted a place that could let me have cats. My roommate at the time was allergic to cats, so I got my own place. 
And that was fine for a little while, but after a while I started noticing psychological problems in me. Um, higher spikes of depression, which I wasn't diagnosed at the time, but generally knew what was going on. Um, higher incidences of me just not wanting to be at my house any longer. I would find any excuse at all to have people over or go to other people's places or really anything at all just to get out of the fact that my house was just me. And again, getting my cat kitties helped. I did get my cats within about four or five months of living there by myself, but well, feline attention isn't the only thing that I want. I want to have humans around. And I kind of got to think about it tonight after everybody left and yay, it's quiet, that's nice, but I already miss having people here. And it's an area that myself and my partner don't necessarily agree on all that much. I'm, I'm, as I mentioned, I'm an extrovert. I like having people around. My ideal situation, assuming pie in the sky, I'm a bajillionaire or anything like that, is to effectively have a complex, have individual homes in that complex. So everybody has their own personal areas, but a shared area in the middle, whether that be indoor, outdoor. Um, my dreams usually have an indoor, underground, underneath the outdoor shared area, but effectively an area that we can all be together. And all of my friends would live in the complex area. We would still be far apart enough where we go home at night and we have quiet time. We don't necessarily need to talk to everybody every day, but we're all here. We can all just, oh, I want to go do something. Let me go walk over to somebody else's house. It's kind of like the way childhood worked for me, um, earlier childhood where I always had friends nearby, I always had friends next door, wherever, and I could just go walk over and say hi. I miss that. And that's kind of what's ideal for me, is just having people around. So, I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is kind of just a ramble. Um... Yeah, I don't do well by myself, and... I mean, it's kind of the reason why I have a roommate. It's I don't really need the money for rent. I can afford this place by myself. I made sure of it. That way, if I couldn't get a roommate or my roommate needed to leave or anything like that, I wouldn't be up a creek without a paddle. I would be fine. And while a lot of my expenses have increased over the years... My income's increased a lot faster than my expenses. I'm very fortunate in that regard. So I'm fine. But having somebody else in the house means that I have somebody to talk to. Having somebody else in the house means that if something were to happen to me, it wouldn't be the end of my life. It, he could potentially find me and get me to a hospital or what have you. It's... Things like that, even though it's never happened. I've had one incident where I asked a roommate for a ride to a hospital. And beyond that, I've been by myself every time I've needed to go. Yeah, I really don't like being by myself. And it wears on me. I like having friends. Right, cat? Right. I ended the video ten minutes ago. He has not left being on top of me. <sighs> Sun Kitty also doesn't like being alone. It's going to be a rough month for him when I'm away. <laughs> 